What is a spontaneous reaction? Okay, so spontaneous kind of has a, a definition that's basically we can apply it in the you know normal world outside of chemistry, right? If you do something spontaneous, you don't really think about it, right? For all you jet setters out there that, that take a spontaneous trip, you just get up and go, right? Last minute, it's going to happen, right? You just you know book it and then go for it. Spontaneous reactions in chemistry kind of have the same meaning. It's a reaction that's just going to occur, right? So that's the first part. There's basically two parts to being spontaneous. In order for a reaction to be spontaneous, and maybe I'll say like, you know, we have A plus, actually, actually, let's do us a um, spontaneous reaction, right? Let's just say we have carbon. And diamond version of carbon, because all that diamond is, is just a bunch of carbons strung together. Now, diamond will turn into graphite. It's just two different types of carbons, but it's carbon nonetheless. But this would be classified as a spontaneous reaction. So, over time, a diamond will turn into graphite and it just naturally occurs. Now, this will take many, 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 many years. So a diamond ring technically, quote unquote, lasts forever. Because unfortunately, we'd probably be dead before we see <laughs> the transformation from diamond to graphite. But it is a spontaneous reaction, which means that it, one, occurs naturally. Okay. So, under natural conditions, a diamond, which is made up of carbon, will turn into the graphite form. And a graphite is like, uh, you know, a pencil, to put things into perspective. The le like the lead on the pencil. So, it's got to occur naturally. And the second thing, which is probably the most important, is that there's no continuous. And I will underline the word continuous. There is no continuous energy needed from an outside source, from an outside, or we'll say an external source. So what this means is that there is nothing that is making this diamond turn into graphite. There is no external source of energy that is fueling this process. This is just going to occur naturally and while this conversion happens, there is no continuous amount of energy. Now we will see, you know, that for some reactions like combustion, combustion reactions are classified as a spontaneous reaction. Now it does require a little bit of energy, right? The spark, but once you light a match to gasoline, right? Or to any hydrocarbon, you'll see the fire. And the idea is that there was no continuous amount of energy through the whole process. But that's basically what a spontaneous reaction is. It's got to occur naturally under, you know, the certain conditions that you're talking about. And as that reaction is occurring naturally, there is no continuous amount of energy that is coming from an external source, an outside source, to make that reaction go. And on the flip side, if you are spontaneous in one direction, you are non-spontaneous in the other direction, which means that as try as we might, graphite pencils will never turn into diamond. Oh, fortunately. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. And I am looking forward to you know, answering more questions for you guys. Okay, bye-bye.